Hi, welcome you all to our next class and I stand with you against the disorder by Janet Armstrong. So she was discussing about her traditional life, the belief system that exists in Okanagan people, their language, their philosophy of life. So she was telling how they considered body as earth itself and the emotional self as something that connects each and everything with that of earth. Now she is going to talk about the thinking intellectual self. So it also has like dream, like body. It also has another word in Okanagan language that she is not telling us. It is not given here. But there is another word. Our word for thinking or logic and storage of information or memory is difficult to translate into English. Like any other words in Okanagan, the concept of that particular word like thinking, intellectual self which we always connect with brain, uh, our IQ, our memory power. So there is a word which is um, having so many meanings with it. So she is telling that it is also very difficult to translate exactly into English. The words that comes closest in my interpretation means the spark that ignites. So, in their language, the intellect or logical part or thinking memory that we normally connect with the brain is something that uh, ignites, a spark that ignites. A spark that ignites. That gives us something awakening, some sort of new knowledge, wisdom. So, do you remember um, Ab Abdul Kalam's, APJ Abdul Kalam's ignited minds? So, ignited, that something that is awakened. So, that is exactly what they think about their intellect or their thinking capacity or their memory. We use the term that translates as directed by the ignited spark, as directed by the ignited spark. Actually, that is how they uh, perceive the word, the, the intellectual or the thinking self. Ignited spark. So, something that gives you an inspiration to some new idea, new knowledge, something very new. So it happens inside you. It may be a thought, but it is very ignited. It is from within you. To refer to analytical thought. So this is your analytical thought, according to Okanagan people. In the Okanagan language, this means the other capacities we engage we engage in when we take action are directed by the spark of memory once it is ignited the other capacity so she was talking about the dream that that is um, uh, something you know uh, memory imagination and everything and she was talking about their uh, body as something very earth, earthly. It is earth itself. And uh, she was talking about the emotional self, which always make bond with the outer world or the earthly things. So now this intellectual um, uh, capacity or memory or whatever you call it that spark that is a spark an ignited spark that is the thing that is providing
encouraging you to engage in all other um, selves. So, uh, um, this means the other capacities we engage in when we take action are directed by the spark of memory once it is ignited. So, if you um, uh, do some emotional activity, it is because this spark has ignited you. Because this spark has ignited you, you start thinking body as earth, as divine, sacred thing. Because this spark has ignited you within, uh, inside you, that dream, um, a ther therapy, a self um, that is intertwined with the community and the earth, that happens only when this intellect or thinking capacity or this is ignited. So, um, there is a role interconnected. These are all very, very close-knitted that we can't separate oneself from the other because it constitutes the whole of you. You need emotional self, you need your physical body, you need thinking intellectual self to ignite your uh, to the body and the emotion which finally constitutes this whole dream that is the communion with earth that uh, a very uh, big realization so that is uh, thinking intellectual self got the point these are there are four four cells she is talking about so we are going through that. We know that in our traditional Okanagan methods of education, we must be disciplined to work in concert with the other selves to engage ourselves beyond our automatic response capacity. So we have some automatic response capacity. All human beings have some response capacity. We respond to many things like uh, we can be very violent we can we respond to physical activities we respond to each and every issue in this society in a very different different manner we go for sometimes strike we uh, make um, very violent strikes or we we may be you know, shouting at each other there are different 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 kinds of responses that we make but in traditional Okanagan uh, methods of education we must be disciplined to work in concert with other selves so there is this uh, word called discipline in their education system so you can't be um, very independent you can't be um, without making any bondage to your friends or teacher or the earth or the environment surrounding you you have to be very disciplined to each and every cells of you that we were discussing your emotional self or the body or the intellect uh, the body itself is earth so you have to be in very power with earth so uh, these are all oh, beyond automatic response capacity uh, beyond uh, their education system teaches them to be more more um, superior to all these human responses so they form a disciplined way of life and they engage themselves in all the activities which are bond, uh, bonded with nature which connects you uh, to the um, earth earthly things so this is a special kind of philosophy they are teaching. We know too that unless we always join this thinking capacity to the heart 
itself, its power can be destructive force. So, uh, today's education we know how education is becoming very destructive. Pala cinema galo naamal gana rende. Chale doctors ak aunnoori korai paisa orde the doctor ei padi kino apur ek doctor aavan chale va kya train paisa orre. E patients verumbam le kabiliyam da ma kabiliyoru chain the nende. Ever when they were in a door, organ donation, organ donation, they could pay a corey, corey, paisa, the ticking, Yata Sulangal Corporation, You are educated. These are all people educated. Every man, I doctors, but their thinking capacity leads them to a destructive way of education they are educated but to what way they are doing their education ah education kondu avarku enthana cheyan pattunnathu society ki avare chuttu paadnu endha cheyan pattunnathu adana bhayangara important aayittulla karyam appo njan endu contribute cheyunno ennullad ivada bhayangara important aanu okkanagan education sastrathile so uh, they know that um, unless they always unless they always join this thinking capacity to the heart self so e thinking varainoru um, capacity there is a capacity uh, it should be uh, in it should be uh, connected with the heart self nammal parayile o angana cheyan manasu thoniyallo ആ മനസ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നതാണ് നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴും ഹാർട്ടായിട്ട് കൺ കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളൊരു കാര്യം ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നമുക്കൊരു കോൺഷ്യൻഷ്യസ്നെസ് വേണോ അത് തെറ്റാണോ ശരിയാണോ എന്നുള്ള അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ തെറ്റാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമുക്ക് പൈസക്കൊക്കെ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമ്മളിത് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അല്ലേ അപ്പോഴാണ് അത് ഡിസ്ട്രക്റ്റീവ് ആവുക നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞ ടെക്നോളജി ഒക്കെ വന്നതിന് ശേഷം ഒരുപാട് അതിൻ്റെ നല്ല സൈഡിനെക്കാട്ടും കൂടുതൽ ഡിസ്ട്രക്റ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള സൈഡാണ് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നത് നമ്മളെ കുട്ടികളൊക്കെ ഡ്രഗ്സിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നത് മൊബൈലില് ആവുന്നത് കുട്ടികള് ചൈൽഡ് ട്രാഫിക് ട്രാഫിക്കിങ് വിമൺ ട്രാഫിക്കിങ് ഇതൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റഡ് അല്ലാത്തോണ്ടൊന്നുമല്ല വലിയ വലിയ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആൾക്കാരായിരിക്കും ഇതിൻ്റെയൊക്കെ തലപ്പത്ത് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നത് സോ ദേ കൺട്രോൾ ദേ ദേ ചേഞ്ച് അതേഴ്സ് ലൈഫ് ഫോർ ദിയർ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് അതെന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ദർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഹാസ് മെയ്ഡ് ദൻ and destructive because they don't use their heart their emotional self and thinking self are both different their family may be important for them but others life lives are not important so adonana ningal okke sheriki language okke padikkunnathu arts and science college le kutile kutile professional college le kutile ka etro nallathai verunnathu le nalla reethiyilokke ബിഹേവ് ചെയ്യാനും എല്ലാം മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നത് നമ്മൾ ഒരുപാട് ഇഷ്യൂസ് പഠിക്കുന്നു ഇതിലൂടെയൊക്കെ ഓരോരുത്തരും ലൈഫ് പഠിക്കുന്നു സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ വി ഹാവ് ദിസ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ചാപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി അതർവൈസ് വി ഓൾസോ ബിക്കം വെരി മെക്കാനിക്കൽ വി ഡോൺ യൂസ് അ ഹാർട്ട് വെൻ വി യൂസ് അ ഇൻ്റലക്ട് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദയർ ഫിലോസഫി ക്യാൻ Uh, it can be destructive if you don't use heart your emotional self with your thinking self a fire that is not controlled can destroy so your thinking capacity has a power of a fire ningale chindikina oru karyathinu ningale nalla paladine destruct cheyanulla capacity undu inna aalochi nokku corona virus ipo pala theory okka parayna chinese are padachu vittadana angane aanengil അത് ഉണ്ടോ ഉള്ളിയെന്ന് ശരിയാണെന്ന് നമുക്കറിയില്ല അങ്ങനെ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇത്ര ഡിസ്ട്രക്റ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് ഒരു തോട്ടായിരിക്കും അത് മറ്റുള്ളവരെ ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ചെയ്യുന്ന തരത്തിലല്ലേ അവിടെ ഇമോഷൻ ഇല്ല ഇതൊക്കെ നടക്കുമ്പോഴും ചൈന നമ്മളെ ആക്രമിച്ച് കുറേ പട്ടാളക്കാർ ഇന്ന് കൊന്നു ഇന്നലെ കൊന്നു അപ്പോൾ ആ ഒരു തിങ്കിങ് പാറ്റേൺ ചിന്തിച്ച് നോക്കൂ ലോകം മൊത്തം ഒരു വലിയൊരു ലോക പാൻഡമിക്കിനെതിരെ ഫൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ദേ ആർ ഫൈറ്റിങ് 
to how destructive people, human beings can become. So we must have this bondage with heart and intellect. Otherwise it can be very, very, very destructive. So the Okanagan teach that each person is born into a family and a community. So that is their teaching. They are told that you are a part of this family. You are a part of this community. So you have to live according uh, to the rules and the ways of your family and also to the community. You are for community and community is for you. So they are not separate. society You are not separate. The surroundings, the earth is you yourself. So you have to protect it. So we uh, develop a connection with the nature, the life around us. No person is born isolated from those two things. So they think that they are not isolated with each other. They are very uh, connected to each other. As an Okanagan, you are automatically a part of the community. community community community. You belong. We belong to a particular group, particular community, particular area, particular country. That gives you the identity. That is your uh, self, existence. That becomes your life. All within family and community are affected by the actions of any one individual. So all individual affect the community, affect the community and the community affect uh, by the actions of any one. community community So uh, that is the bondage that they have. Uh, with each other. Without the capacity to bond is to critical, um, bond is critical to individual wellness. So this bond by meaning, mean uh, bond, it is critical to individual wellness. So when you become bond with each other, you benefit from this bond. Without it, the person is said to be crippled, incapacitated and lifeless. written by Janet Anders Armstrong. And uh, that character thinks that uh, their community is inferior to the American education system. And he started feeling this inferiority complex. But later when he, when he comes back to his community, he realizes the importance of being into this community with such a strong bondage. So he become a rebel. She, he becomes a rebel and she start, he starts fighting against it. So uh, without this uh, what this bondage a person is crippled incapacitated and lifeless you have no life you have this you are handicapped you are crippled you are not physically fit you are in capacity you have no capacity at all you have no emotional capacity uh, intellectual capacity not to have community or family is to be scattered or falling apart the community family that means you are scattered falling apart there is no life for you so 
and this is a very close knit bonded community that is Okanagan community. The Okanagan refer to relationship to others by a word that means our one's kin. So they refer to relationship to others. You and your friend, you and your brother, you and your parents, they refer to relationship to other number of family community this is our one skin so whoever uh, in this community they um, say others belonging to that community as one skin so you can't find a very close word that connects you so deeper than this our one skin skin is so deeper so attached that you can't separate you can't think of peeling it off away from your body skin is a part without skin 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 so that is the word they use for your relatives or your men in your community that is the spirit so that is how they find their relationships uh, to others they communicate to others like this this means that we share more than a place we share a physical tie that is uniquely human so uh, it tells you we are so 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 deeply connected we don't share a place not only share a place not only we share a physical tie physically but there is a tie it is invisible, but it is uniquely human. It also means that the bond of community and family includes the history of the many who came before us and the many ahead of us who share our flesh so this is a close knit community they don't marry others they they don't know the other outside world so they believe that each and every individual believe that they carry something so uh, uh, some uh, community they carry a community which existed long 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 ago in this world it is and the bond of community and family includes the history of many so their history includes many they believe that they carry many before us those people who dead before them and those are coming to uh, uh, be a part of their life those who are going to be the next generation the first generation poi kanya adu nammala bhagana ini janikan irikkina kuttiyalum nammala bhagana so they believe that they share their flesh ningala body la flesh nu arenadana avrudana so you can't think of a way, you can't think separate, you can't think independent from this community and this system because this whole history is your flesh. 
you carry it with your history you carry it with your coming generations so your flesh is so important in this very flesh is earth also so it's a very high uh, um, superior philosophy we are tied together by those who brought us here and gave us blood and gave us place so always they remember that tie they believe that they are tied together a pandi okanagi nu parayna or community il pandu kondu jeevicha aalkar modale aa place kandathi avare jeevikan thodangiyavaru modale avare blood um avare maamsu aanu njangala body ennu avaru vishwasikkunnu by those who brought us here and gave us blood and gave us place our most serious teaching is that community comes first in our choices then family so uh, for them it is a community first avare jeevikkina chuttuvaadulla ella aalukalum aan avarku important pinne ullu family namukku nere therichalle namukku family ki undengile ellarum avana venne endu kittum adu ingane odiki vekka അല്ലെ നമ്മളെ ഫേവേസ്റ്റ് ഒക്കെ മറ്റുള്ള പറമ്പിൽ തട്ടിയാലും നമുക്ക് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടൊന്നും ഉണ്ടാകരുത് എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ പക്ഷെ ഒക്കനാഗൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഇസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി കംസ് ഫേസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദയർ ലൈഫ് ദെൻ ഓൺലി ദയർ ഫാമിലി ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ആർ സെൽസ് ആസ് ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് പിന്നെയും നമുക്ക് ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ എന്നുള്ളൊരു ചിന്തയെ വരുന്നുള്ളൂ ബിക്കോസ് വിതൗട്ട് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഫാമിലി വി ആർ ട്രൂലി നോട്ട് ഹ്യൂമൻ സോ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് because without community community and family we are not truly really not human because of this belief they think that they carry the generations of history with their body their blood and flesh is theirs those great great grandfathers and those coming to give birth carries their flesh and blood they always do they always uh, feel think good because they are responsible for the coming generations too and they are responsible for the community uh, first of all then only family so all these uh, belief system belief patterns without community and family they are truly really not human manushre allah they also they want to if you want to be a human you want to be a part of it very much part of it you want to do things you want to uh discuss things you you are a part of the community you can't divide you can't um, go away from this you are like flesh and blood you are connected to the community and environment in earth um that where you live in so here comes the end of our section the end of our class so hope you all understood these things uh, the next uh, uh, that is uh, some question answer sections that i will do in the next class thank you so much for listening see you in the next class bye bye after this i will send the chapters taken by other teachers also so um, try to listen to the class as much as possible Take care. Bye.